What's up fam, it's Coach Cam. We're back again with an upper body high intensity training workout, starting off with cable curls. I made progress on every exercise of this workout and I'm excited to share that with you at the end of the video. First here, cable curls, nice and controlled, full tension on the muscles. Making sure that my muscles perform every ounce of work from start to finish not accelerating the weight, no momentum, using a, a moderate load. So this is the same weight I used last time, but I made progress with it. If I keep at it, I might add weight in two workouts from now. I'll probably end up adding like two and a half pounds on each side, something like that, something small. But so far, I'm really excited that I've been making progress training each muscle group only once every two weeks uh, training only 20 minutes per week so one workout a week 20 minutes long and I stimulate my body for increases in muscle size strength and cardiovascular fitness so I really want to just go over the cardiovascular fitness part because a lot of people don't fully understand what I mean by that so uh, just an example, in Fire Academy, we've been doing some of our run-throughs with all of our gear on, and it's been difficult, and some people are struggling with it, and they're saying, yeah, I need to do more cardio. And then when they say that to me, I say, what do you mean by that? Like, what is cardio? Because if we can't define it, if we can't pinpoint what it is, it's it's everything, right? Which is true. It's everything. Everything that involves contracting skeletal muscle can be called cardio. So cardio is dead. It, the idea of cardio is dead. Okay, because this person said, well, you know, I need to like run to get better for this. And I'm like, running's not going to get you better at firefighting. Sorry. Like it's, it's not even close. Like you're wearing all this gear going up and down ladders. It's upper body, it's lower body, it's everything. So it didn't matter if you're like an amazing marathon runner or whatever, like that's not going to transfer to what we're doing. And that's why I train the way I'm training right now. Because if you think about it, if all skeletal muscle contractions can contribute to your cardiovascular fitness, then why not choose the ones that also get you uh, more muscle and stronger, right? Because if you just go for runs, you're not getting any stronger. You're completely neglecting upper body. Lower body's not getting any stronger. You could run for 10 years and your lower body muscular strength can be the exact same. So you want to pick lifting weights or resistance training, whatever you want to call this, targeting muscles with exercises that directly challenge their function. It doesn't have to be with external weights. It can be your body weight. As you can see here, I have 35 pounds on my back for push-ups um, so it's body weight plus additional weight whatever you have to do to find that load that will cause you to hit failure ballpark 90 seconds right um, in the book body by science dr doug mcguff and john little very very smart people people are way smarter than me when it comes to exercise are the ones saying that this is a great idea and this is a great starting point for training and to recruit all your muscle fibers and to stimulate your body for adaptations. At the end of a hard training set with weights, such as these sets you're seeing right here, your stroke volume is higher because you're getting more venous return. You're getting more blood sent back to the heart. Whereas when you're running, you're jumping, right? You're jumping from one leg to the other. You're bouncing off the ground. It's not a lot of tension on the muscles, and therefore the muscles are not pushing blood back to the heart as much that's why your heart rate is higher i did a instagram post on this right cardiac output equals stroke volume times heart rate and that's why when you do weights people say oh it's not cardio well your heart rate's lower than if you were running but it is cardio have you ever trained really really hard with weights you know like 20 rep squats or whatever you have to think of in your mind to Imagine pushing yourself extremely hard in the weight room. You also stimulated your cardiovascular system. Have you, you ever done 20 pull-ups? Have you ever done 30 pull-ups? 
All right, when when you hit a PR in pull-ups like that, you know it. Like <laughs> you're tired afterward, right? Your cardiovascular system is heavily involved in all muscle contractions, and the only way to recruit it more is with more effort, right? Contracting your muscles harder and unto exhaustion. So if you don't believe me, then you just need to try these workouts and then you'll see. But you don't have to do anything weird to try to target, uh, improve your cardiovascular system. You don't have to push and pull sleds, carry dumbbells, walking up and down your street. You don't have to, you know, hit sledgehammers, swing axes, climb ladders. You know, you don't have to be a construction worker, right? That's almost what it's turned into these days. Like, oh, you need to basically be a manual laborer. And that means you're going to be fit. When if you look at all the guys doing construction or mowing yards, they're not all fit. A lot of the ones I see are very much overweight and obese. So that that's not your ticket. That's not your ticket to health. That's not your ticket to fitness. Your ticket to fitness is targeting your muscles, getting stronger, bigger muscles, which are stronger muscles. It's the same thing. Or and or increases in cardiovascular fitness, which come from pushing your muscles hard. So this is what's helped me to not have to distance run, right? If you, if you pick a modality, say you pick distance running or swimming, guess what? You have to do two things your whole life. You have to swim or run and you have to weight lift, right? Or else those muscles are going to be neglected. If you train like this, train how I'm showing you here, you can just do this and you will get all those benefits. You won't have to do. Now, am I saying your 5K time is going to go up? If you're for, from weightlifting, it can if you're out of shape. If you've never run before, then it likely will be better because your muscles can produce more force. So every step you take running will be relatively less force required by your muscles. But if you're weak and your calves and your legs are weak, then every step is a lot of force and you'll get tired faster and have really poor running economy. So all in all, if you want to get better at a specific sport like running or swimming, then you have to do that exact sport. There's neuromuscular gains that your brain, your nervous system, your spinal cord, everything that innervates your muscles are making gains for that exact movement pattern. But doing those movement patterns that are not challenging enough to your muscles will not increase your muscle size or strength. You'll be left with increases in some cardiovascular fitness most specifically to that exact modality that you trained it in. Whereas lifting like this with weights in the gym, you're getting general improvements in those things. And you're pushing your body so hard that you're forcing your, your heart, your lungs, and your muscles and their cells to adapt. It may not transfer directly to a very specific movement pattern or skill like swimming or biking but it will transfer to everything else in, turn, in a general way that you would take your body through in a normal day. If I had to go for a run right now, I would be happy to do so. If I had to go hiking, if I had to take my body and climb a, a rock, climb a rock wall or whatever I had to do, I'm more physically fit and capable to do anything that life throws my way compared to if I just pigeonhole myself and said, I run or I do karate, you know, those skills are very specific to only those things. So that's some of the benefits you'll see from high intensity training is not only am I only training 20 minutes a week, but the carryover to everything else in my life is there. I'm super pumped about that. So that's the end of the workout. This is my posing, flexing I do at the end of my workouts, guys. I am excited because I am really starting to grow now and the pump was insane. I could barely pull off these flexes with uh, the pump being what it was, but 20 minutes a week, maxing out my fitness. Did I think it was possible before? No. Do I think it's possible now? Yes. It's not about how much you do, how many hours you spend. It's literally comes down to how hard you push yourself. The harder you push yourself, the less time you can or even should be training so like share comment subscribe